So should you use credit or a credit card or borrow money in order to buy leads to sell insurance? So I'm going to answer that question coming right up. everybody, it's Dave Duford here from DeFord Insurance Group where I train and recruit agents nationally to sell things like final expense, Medicare, and annuities, both face-to-face -face and over the phone. Thank you so much for watching and do make sure you subscribe if you happen to like this content. So the subject matter today kind of comes from an agent or two that have contacted me over the last month about the efficacy or the, the idea of investing into leads by borrowing money from some source other than their own cash money reserve, such as a credit card probably being the most common usage for most of us. And so I put this video together to kind of give you my perspective, and I don't know so much as, as advice, but my personal experience doing this, uh, it's something I haven't really talked about because uh, I kind of have an issue with uh, borrowing money and suggesting other people do it. We'll talk about that later. But I wanted to kind of give you some perspective now that I'm 10 plus years in the business and have gone through the hard times and have arrived in a way that I could have never imagined I'd be at now uh, at the age of 36. So I think I have some, some ideas or advice that you might find uh, interesting if you're thinking about doing the same and some caveats, some things you should be aware of if you decide to go this route. So let me tell you my story. So first of all, when I started in the business, I was deeply in debt. I had car loans. I had tons of credit card loans. I owed a bank money on my personal biz personal training business that had faltered and failed. And I was in a bit of a cash crunch. And I came across the final expense opportunity because nobody was hiring in 2011. Um, I tried to find other jobs to work at. Nobody was hiring, even though I was an entrepreneur and I thought I was, you know, hireable kind of a person. And uh, when I learned about final expense, I discovered I had to invest in leads, specifically direct mail, if I were to give this business an earnest opportunity. Well, when you look at the actual cost of direct mail, it was obvious that I was going to have to invest thousands of dollars in fresh, uh, exclusive direct mail, but I didn't have the money on hand in order to do it. So after careful contemplation, and a realization I had about mm, $5,000 left on my fifth credit card, my Discover card, I decided that, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and jump in, take the risk, because I know you can't get anything in life without taking a risk. I wagered the pros and the cons of doing it, and I decided that, given my circumstances, and given the situation I in, I was in, this is going to be my last-ditch effort to run a business. I knew I didn't want to work for anybody else. And I was going to give this thing my earnest effort. And I felt comfortable at the time putting the amount of direct mail leads on my, my uh, credit card in order to fund the startup of my business. And of course, the decision to do that was great. I made sales right away in the first month, made more sales in the next month, and started generating an income that would eventually surpass my personal training income and eventually close down that business while I went full-time eventually in the final expense. And all worked out pretty well from that original decision to take a risk and borrow money on my credit card in order to pay for leads. And I'll be honest with you, when I decided to do this, I said to myself, you know what? I do not want to work for anybody. I hate the idea of doing that. And if I do this and I fail, if I've got to file bankruptcy and start over again, that's fine. I was at the point where personally, I just didn't care. You know, I wanted this opportunity bad. I wanted the freedom and independence that came from running my own business. And the consequences in my mind, yes, they seemed serious and an issue. They didn't seem that big of a deal for me anyway. I wanted to run through it and get going and give myself an opportunity for success that if I was scared and I didn't do, I might kick myself in the butt many years later because now I'm working for somebody else. Now I don't have the freedom that I wanted and possibly the income opportunity as well. So what about you? What about your own life? How, how can you assess if borrowing money is a good idea or not? This is, again, this is a very personal decision. Like I said, I've always had an issue going out there and suggesting to people that they should borrow money in order to get into this business. I personally hate debt. I don't like it. I, I try to stay away from it as much as humanly possible because I've been in the thick of it. I've seen the consequences and the stress that it causes. And most Americans are too indebted. We as a nation are too indebted. And it's just not an intelligent position to be in personally, and I think professionally. But for me, it was something that I felt strongly about myself. I knew professionally and personally that my work ethic was unmatched. I knew that I could do whatever it is I wanted to do in my life. 
I knew that if I applied myself as I had done earlier in my life at school and in college and in other factors, that if I just applied myself and kept an open mind and learned that I could develop myself into something that would yield me the ability to pay off the credit cards and make an income and get out of this rat race of working for somebody else. And I guess that's what you have to contemplate for yourself, right? Is, is do you feel strongly about yourself so strongly that the risks do not outweigh the reward? That you feel strongly that you can pull yourself out of the position you're in financially and you're willing to accept the consequences if you don't. So, you know, I, it's hard for me to give you a yes straight up or even a no straight up to uh, deciding if this in, investment in leads with credit is really a good idea for you. There's a lot of people it's not. They're, they don't follow through. They don't, uh, you know, go all the way. They're not fully committed. But there are a lot of you out there that are. And, and maybe in your position, taking this risk is a good thing. You've got to decide this for yourself. I can look back now 10 years ago and if I didn't do this, I wouldn't be where I was now. There's, it's funny how looking back, there's all these little occurrences, these inflection points in your life where, man, if I didn't do that one thing at that one time, I, that, I probably wouldn't be here. And I can think of a couple of those things along the way where these inflection points occurred and they showed themselves. And had I chose the wrong decision, I don't even know if I'd be here now. So that's something you got to consider. Is this something that considering your circumstances, you can follow through on and you can make the best out of? So choose wisely, think contemplatively about it and then pull forward or go forward if you ultimately decide that you can do this. And this is something that you will see some sort of fruit from. My name is David DeFord, owner of DeFord Insurance Group. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in joining my agency or learning more about joining my agency, click the links above or below. It'll take you to an FAQ page where you can discover more about how the Ford Insurance Group helps agents sell final expense Medicare in annuities. Y'all take care. Thanks.